to order. Will the assistant clerk of committees please escort the mayor into the chambers. Would everybody please join in a prayer and salute to the flag. Direct, O oh Lord, all the discussions, decisions, and actions of this legally constituted body of government. We are instituted to protect the rights of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness with which thou hast endowed all men and women. May we fulfill this divine commission under thy guidance with wisdom, justice, and understanding. Amen. I pledge allegiance. Mr. Clerk, will you please call the roll? I will, then. Alderman Roach. Here. Alderman Conley. Present. Alderman Abruzio. Present. Alderman O'Donovan. Here. Alderman Taylor. Here. Alderman Provo. Here. Alderman Perrell. Present. Alderman Halloran. Here. Alderman White. Here. Alderman Tarpley. People Ward 2, present. Alderman Curtitone. Present. Ten Alderman are present. Mr. President, we have a quorum. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. I want to welcome everybody this evening to the regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of Aldermen. There are agendas in the front of the chambers if you need one. Tonight's a very special occasion as we're going to be making some appointments, promotions, and new hirees, and that Mayor has joined us, Her Honor has joined us for the special occasion. I'm going to ask all family and friends, when we do the appointments and the hirings, you're welcome to come in the inner circle of the horseshoe here and take pictures. At this time, the chair will recognize the Chairman of the Committee on Confirmation of Appointments, Ward 1 Alderman William Roach. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for suspension of the rules in order that we can go to the Committee Report on Confirmation of Appointments. Alderman Roach moves for sus suspension of the rules. All in favor, say aye. All opposed, no. The rules are suspended. Mr. What item is that? Item 56. Will the clerk please write item number 56 for the record. 56 is the report of the Committee on Confirmation of Appointments. Alderman Thank Roach. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, over the past couple of weeks, the Committee on Confirmation of Appointments was very busy. We have some appointments to uh, city boards. We have nine new firefighters, and we have a promotion within the fire department of a person to uh, the rank of lieutenant. What I'd like to do first, uh, Mr. President, is under suspension of the rules. We received a uh, communication from the mayor today asking us to promote uh, firefighter John J. Norton, Jr. to the rank of lieutenant. Since we were meeting tonight, we asked Mr. Norton to come in so the Committee on Confirmation of Appointments could interview him. Uh, we did interview him. Mr. Norton was spent 15 years as a firefighter in the city of Somerville. He came very highly recommended. Uh, that he be promoted to the rank of lieutenant, not only by his peers, but by the chief, and also by the interviewing team of the city. The Committee on Confirmation of Appointments is satisfied that Mr. Norton is going to make an excellent lieutenant. And with that, Mr. President, I would like to ask Mr. Norton to come to the front of the chambers to be sworn in this evening. Mr. Norton. I'd like... The, the chair would like to ask retired firefighter John Midgey Norton to come forward to pin his son. Mr. President, be Roach. before we actually swear in Mr. Norton, I would like for the board to accept the committee's report on the confirmation of Mr. Mo Norton as the, uh, for the promotion of rank to lieutenant. Alderman Roach moves for acceptance of the committee report. All in favor, say aye. As opposed, no. The report is accepted as submitted.
And uh, before we move on, the chair would like to recognize the presence of the chief engineer of the Somerville Fire Department, Chief Kelleher. Alderman Roach. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like the board to uh, accept the next part of the committee report, which is the acceptance of, acceptance of nine firefighters, which the Committee of Confirmation of Appointments interview tonight after the board uh, acts on this committee's report. I will ask each member to come up one at a time as I read off his name. Alderman Roach moves for acceptance of the committee report with regards to the nine hirees of firefighters, seconded by Alderman Topley, as submitted. All those in favor, all those opposed, that portion of the committee report is, is accepted as submitted. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, tonight we interviewed nine excellent candidates that are definitely going to be an asset to the Somerville Fire Department. I think the city is very lucky that we have candidates such as these that are interested in becoming firefighters in the city. What I would like to do is read off each person's name and give a little bit about his background as he walks up and lines up next to the chief behind me, and then all nine individuals can be sworn in at the same time. Uh, I'll read them in the order that we interviewed them so they'll have an idea when their name's going to come out. But the first individual is Stephen Morris. Stephen is 26 years old. He's been a resident in the city of Somerville for 21 years, graduated at Somerville High School, Bunker Hill Community College, and he's worked at the U.S. Post Office for the last three and a half years and he brings with him uh, the ability to speak a second language, which is Spanish. The next uh, individual is John DeCourcy. John is a veteran, 28 years old. He's married with two children, resident of Somerville for the past three years, graduated from Madden Arn High School, uh, and currently he's employed in a family roofing business. Again, another candidate that's gonna add to the Somerville Fire Department. Next individual is James Loveless, veteran, 44 years old, lifelong resident of the city of Somerville, graduated St. Mary's High School, attended Bunker Hill Community College, and for the last uh, 15 years, he's been employed by the city of Cambridge. Next candidate, Mr. President, is Stephen Chemetz. He's 39 years old, married, lived in Somerville for almost 13 years, graduated Canton High School, attended college in Ohio, He's been a firefighter for the city of Lexington for the past 15 years, but decided to make the switch to the city of Somerville, and he brings with him the certification of the EMT. Next, Mr. President, we have Ryan Epps, 21 years old, resident of Somerville for the past five years, graduated Cambridge Ridge and Ladin High School. For the past almost four years, he's been employed by Cotardo Ambulance, and he's presently a lieutenant in the Cambridge Auxiliary Fire Department. Next candidate, Mr. President, is Timothy Flynn, 34 years old, married with two children, resident of Somerville for the not past nine years, graduated St. Clements High School, attended Plymouth State College in New Hampshire, employed for the post office for the last 14 years, and he's going to make a switch and become a Somerville firefighter after tonight. <laughs> and he has a fan here. <laughs> uh, next individual, Mr. President, is James Clark. 26 years old, resident of Somerville all his life, graduated from Arlington Catholic, has worked, for the Boston, has worked for Boston University for the past four years, and again, after this evening, he'll be a uh, Somerville firefighter. Uh, next candidate, Mr. President, Michael Powers, third generation firefighter, 25 years old, lived in Somerville all his life, graduated Madden High School, attended Suffolk University. He's been employed with the Somerville Recreation Department for the past five years. Uh, again, he brings with him not only as your third generation firefighter, but uh, he is also EMT certified. And our last candidate, uh, Mr. President, Matthew Wall, second generation firefighter. His brother is also a firefighter, 24 years old, uh, graduated Don Bosco High School, graduated St. Michael's College in Vermont. He's been employed for the past three years as a Boston brokerage firm at a Boston brokerage firm. And uh, with that. Mr. President, I would like to introduce our nine newest firefighters who I think are going to be, definitely be an asset to the city of Somerville. The, the chair would like to invite up Lieutenant Mark Wall to pin his son, new hiree, firefighter Matt Wall, and firefighter William Powers to pin his son, Michael Powers, and 
again, the family is welcome to come into the horseshoe and ask the clerk to swear the firefighters in individually to give you an opportunity to take the photos. Mr. Clerk.
colleagues, if everybody could have a seat, we have two more appointments and then we're going to take a recess. We'd ask you just to be seated during the next appointments. Again, we're going to, we have two more appointments to make it. Ask everybody in the audience just to be seated and we're going to take a brief recess. It only won't take long. We thank you for your indulgence.